Thank you, Taylor. The commercials and robotechs are almost done, and today voters head to the polls to decide the winner of the runoff election between incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock and GOP candidate Herschel Walker. It's the last Senate contest in the country still undecided. Both candidates for U.S. Senate continued campaigning and making their final pitches for why they should be your next U.S. Senator. Herschel Walker stopped in North Georgia yesterday. So get people out to vote. Tomorrow, tell them to get out and vote, vote, vote. If you hadn't voted, tell them to get out and vote. Hey, thank you guys so much. Our message this morning is that we cannot let our foot off the gas. We got to press all the way through the finish line. We got to run through the tape. Senator Warnock made stomps up in Atlanta. And both candidates are sticking around areas where they're heavily supported. Meanwhile, it is decision day and nearly 2 million voters have already cast ballots, setting early voting records across the state. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony is joining us live from a polling location here in East Macon. So TJ, are you seeing any lines forming yet? How are things looking? Good morning, Caitlin and Wanda. Things are looking pretty quiet right now. We saw one voter show up and the doors will open starting at 7 a.m. for voters across the state. But look, somehow, some way, they let the 13 WMAZ crew in here before the line started to form. Now, as you see, you have the poll workers working right here, getting you ready to cast your ballot. And you see the poll pads right there. And over there, you can see the voting booths where people and voters will go out and they will actually vote for who they want in this election and also we hope this go around we will know tonight who will be taking over the georgia senate seat and who will also be taking over the macon water authority district two seat but we have everything you need to know this go around the voting is a family tradition we got to do it yeah and as women we used to couldn't vote either so that's very important Leonard and connie williams were among the over 15,000 people that voted early in Macon Bibb. It's an important thing, and especially local voting, because everything happened, everything's local. The Williams were not the only people rushing during this runoff election. Poll workers were racing against the clock to make sure everything was up and running. There's a, a lot of machine, a lot of equipment to be prepared, and uh, not a lot of time to do it. Interim election supervisor Thomas Gillen says with this runoff, there were long lines during early voting. But Election Day may be a different story. For Election Day, I don't think the lines won't be, will be nearly as long as they are here. They certainly won't be. If they do end up being long, there are special accommodations for the elderly 75 and up or the disabled. Uh, we have usually uh, one or two uh, uh, clerks specifically set aside to uh, process uh, our older or handicapped voters. And we have chairs set aside so they can come in, sit down uh, while they wait if need be. For the Williams family, they will be like many on Election Day, watching closely. It's glued to the TV. Yeah, glued to the TV. <laughs> and now the voting locations will be open across the state of Georgia at 7 a.m. and they will close at 7 p.m. tonight. But if you're in line by 7 p.m., you can still vote. So make sure you stay in line, line live in Macon. TJ Anthony. 13 WMAZ News. Thank you so much for that report, TJ. If you're going to the polls, be sure to bring your government issued photo ID. That could be a driver's license to check your polling location. You definitely want to go to the Georgia Secretary of State's website. I know I needed to do that to see where I do vote. Usually. Yes, definitely make sure you go to the right spot. And for other information on the polling place and hours, of course, you can contact your local Board of Elections. Now it is the last chance to vote in this election. So here's some other things you need to know. Again, you have to vote at your designated polling place. They're open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m make sure you bring a valid form of ID. And as long as you're in line by seven tonight, as TJ said, stay in line. You'll still be able to vote. Tom Gillen with the Bibb County Board of Elections says if you still need to turn in an absentee ballot, you can bring them to your elections office up until 7 p.m. today. He says you must hand that ballot to a staff member and that goes to any county. Well, tonight we will follow the runoff results closely from the Macon Water Authority to Milledgeville City Council, of course, the U.S. Senate race. Molly Jett will report from Senator Raphael Warnock's camp, while Anthony Montalto reports from Herschel Walker's watch party. We'll also have analysis for you. Ashlyn Webb will use our election tracker to show you where votes are coming from across Georgia. And UGA political science professor Charles Bullock will join us in studio to bring some context to the trends that we're seeing. So make sure you join us tonight starting at 5 right here on 13, your source for election results. And if you text the word vote to 478-752-1309, we can still send our runoff election guide right to your phone.